Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin into the comp video. We're going to be taking a look at how to create and then use your own keyboard shortcuts to launch applications. Now, I know this may not be the most exciting of topics, but it's also one that I figure is going to benefit a lot of folks, whether you're a power user, whether you're a creative a designer, that type of thing. You're probably going to be using a whole bunch of applications and switching between them, uh, as you can imagine. Obviously, there are caveats here. Um, you want to make sure that these are not something like control s for obvious reasons but aside from that you can start using some exotic combination of keys to be able to get your application to load uh, i'm going to be picking on msi afterburner which you can see is um, loaded in an explorer window and then we're going to pick on photoshop or something similar from the creative applications that i've got installed in this machine so we're going to start out with afterburner because obviously it's an overclocking program that you use to increase the clock speed or mess around with fan profiles on your gpu so what you do is you go ahead and right click on the shortcut and then click on properties and that will load the shortcuts tab open in the properties now you've got the shortcut key and this is where you get to simply choose something along the lines of i'm going to press basically control shift alt and uh, i'm going to press c why not that sounds like a good key simply press the apply button and then it's going to ask me do i want to run this because it, you require administrative permissions to run this particular application i'm just going to choose yes just to prove that it loads and there you have it and i'm just going to cancel out of that to delete a shortcut all you have to do is literally just go up to it and press the small delete key and then it will show shortcut key none and then you just press apply um, very much the same deal with Photoshop you simply right click um, properties and then simply choose one I've already got control shift K so you can just press that and it will uh, load but I don't have my uh, plugins folder set up at the moment and that's pretty much it. A very short, very sweet one, that one. But I just wanted to get into it. I do also want to mention a couple of other very small shortcuts which are built into Windows, have been for some time now. Um, and they would be app, uh, keys to mess around with the Windows and monitor setup. So if you press Windows P, I repeat, Windows P, you get to choose between the different screens. I'm using second screen at the moment only. But you can activate multiple monitor uh, setups right there um, windows and then the arrow keys will actually move around the highlighted uh, window so for example you can press windows up to maximize windows down to make it back to where it was windows right windows left and then you can actually if you have multiple monitors which i obviously do not uh, have multiple monitors uh, enabled at the moment you can start sending them to different screens as well and that's about it. So this has been a very quickie. Hopefully you've enjoyed it or found it somewhat useful. As usual, uh, subscribe if you want much more. We're going to be making much more in-depth tips over the next few weeks. But I figure I want to get some of the more simplest, basic and more useful ones. The ones that I think everyone's going to benefit from first. So once again, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.